Most men are going their own way. Have you ever loved somebody and they broke your heart? Millions of people have been asking me, Hey, Gerbert, why are you always talking about all this incel stuff? What, do you not have any bitches? Here's the thing about this, this question. It's a very interesting question. In that no one ever seems to, to ponder the possibility that maybe it's the that don't have me. And Most men are going their own way. Today's video comes from Gerbert Johnson. His channel will be linked in the description. What is going on? So many guys are now walking away from relationships and dating and choosing not to have anything to do with any of these things. They're walking away from relationships, they're walking away from society, and they're choosing to go MGTOW. Watch to the end of the video to fully understand why more men are going MGTOW now, completely avoiding relationships and the implications that it's going to have on society. Now, now, and now let's just go ahead and jump right into the video decided to talk to a dating therapist to uh, see if I can find a good match. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm a decently handsome guy. I try to put in effort to my appearance. I work out, whatever. It's just, I don't really know where to start, you know, where to meet girls. I don't, I'm just struggling. Tell me about what kind of girls you're going after. Like, what are you looking for in a woman? Mixed Asian, half white, half Asian, big thunder thighs, Bow. Nice rack, bing bang, big tit, uh, tall, like taller than me, six foot tall, uh, 130 plus IQ, 32 inch vertical, no mm -hmm. tattoos, debt free, virgin, did mm -hmm. I say big, uh, I said big rack, right? You said big racks, yeah. Yeah, so that's about it. Women, they date up, so what you have to do is you have you to schizophrenia, and bipolar disorder. The type of woman that you want has to have either two or three of these mental disorders. Everyone with auras, they have a roster. And in order to create a roster, you need to pray after mentally disabled women. <laughs> Let's be real, you're white, mm -hmm. you're pasty, you are milk, yeah. you are vanilla, mm -hmm. you have zero flavor there is zero seasoning to you how to manipulate an autistic woman and that's where the dark triad comes in because the dark triad is quite literally black no you don't you're not advanced yet for the dark triad bedroom game when you meet an autistic woman and this is obviously going to be after you black maxed right yeah, yeah, yeah after i have this course it's going to tell you everything that you need to know about using the dark triad and also the female triad that I told you about earlier. And on top of that, it's gonna teach you all of the, all the tricks that you need to, to take advantage of the schizophrenic. The full course is gonna be roughly $998.86. It is a big investment, but I need you to feel that investment so that you can be invested in this course. Okay. You, know. you may have seen this general social survey graph from 2018, but you probably haven't seen the updated version of 2022. The older graph shows that male virginity has supposedly skyrocketed since 2012, but the newer one shows that since then it has plummeted. I, like many other people, even recently, uh, surmised that this was an ongoing trend only getting worse, especially because it was pre-pandemic. Let's just say the rate of growth was consistent. If we would extend the graph to 2022, the number would be around 38%. But we're coming to find out that maybe it was just a blip. Bald head bitch. Is this whole idea of an ever-growing incel population, women only wanting to engage with jazz, leaving many men to be virgins, some sort of illusion? A way of chronically online uh, men to project their own failures onto a larger societal problem? As the saying goes, misery loves company. Is there actually a rising virginity rate? Are more and more men becoming incels? How many incels are there actually? You'll find out in this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, lookofthedead.com for merch. 
How is it that in 2018, the virginity rate was almost one third of all men, but in 2022, it plummeted? Uh, that doesn't even make sense post COVID. Well, the truth is that these general social study surveys have quite a low sample size. Better data sets with over 10 times the sample size show that virginity is steadily increasing very marginally. It's not nearly as sensational as the 2018 graph that went viral. Also in this graph, the rates between men and women are quite similar in following the same trend. Now, again, these are all surveys. It's not like scientists are running around gathering the fiber off of these guys' scrotums to actually uh, prove concretely whether or not they're getting laid. Okay, they could be lying. There could be a Hawthorne effect going on here, but it would be dishonest to say that's what's going on with this newer graph when everybody on the internet took the 2018 general social survey graph at complete face value. People will, on the internet, latch on to the most sensational, extreme data there is, even though it's far from the best. And then draw, you know, I did the same thing, drawing all these conclusions. And I mean, there is a slight trend going on, but it's not that crazy. In actuality, you might just be a fucking loser. So are incels valid? I guess it depends. If it's just about getting laid, there are a lot of girls nowadays that aren't too picky with that sort of thing. They're very loosey-goosey. They've been hopping on ween like a daily routine long before the day they've turned 18. The truth of the matter is that most men are actually choosing to avoid the risk of having to deal with someone who does not actually want to be in a relationship with them and is just attempting to extract wealth and resources from them. Modern women only want our attention, time, and money. This is the reason why men are saying, you know what, if I'm going to play this game, I might as well play it where I at least have the advantage. Hence, men are going where they are celebrated. Hence, men are going where they are appreciated. Men are going where they are celebrated. Men are walking away from Western society in relation to Western society. That is not to say that there are not good women in Western society. There are definitely good women in Western society. But the saying is, for every one good woman, there are 20 good men chasing her. And as a result of that, more and more men are saying, you know what, I'm going to opt out of this. If you look at the, uh, the just the downright terrible way men are treated in Western society, it's no wonder that men are choosing to go MGTOW to avoid relationships, opt out of relationships and society, and choosing to focus on themselves and, and what makes them happy. MWA is men walking away from toxic, toxic environments, toxic people, and using their and um and basically choosing their best alternatives. MWA are men with alternatives, but then you have MGTOWs who are saying that, yeah, we're just giving the middle finger to, to it all, and we're done with everything. We're done with relationships. We're done with society. There's no, we're not going overseas to find wives. The notion that MGTOWs are, you know, they have wives waiting for them in other countries, that's a joke. If you're an MGTOW, you have chosen, you're, you're a, you've chosen to separate yourself indefinitely from relationships and dating. That doesn't matter if it's in the U.S. or if it's outside of the U.S. That's an MGTOW, okay? MWAs are walking away from toxic relationships and toxic and um, walk away from toxic relationships and toxic people. So if you have a girlfriend waiting for you overseas, then you're an MWA. If you're saying that you're completely opting out of relationships, you're completely opting out of society, then you're an MGTOW. Okay. And so many guys now are going MGTOW and saying that they're done with everything. And who are and who are the biggest, you know, who are big, the biggest cheerleaders of MGTOW? Modern women. Women are the way that men are treated in society. They are, you know, modern women, especially the empowered woman, they are the ones pushing men to MGTOW. The way that they gaslight men, the, the, the terrible things that they say and do. If men, if women were ever treated the way that men are treated in society, it would be all over the news. It would be, it would, I mean, they would have, they would, they would be assigning a, a minister of, of re-education. I mean, they're actually doing that in, in, in Australia right now. They have like a minister of re-education to force men to get into relationships and to be sims. But, you know, it would be even more pronounced in the U.S. It'd be even, I mean, they'll probably eventually do that as well. You have to understand that we live in a society where they don't like you. They absolutely don't like you. Where is this actually going to lead to? What is this actually going to cause? Cause the truth is that it's just going to lead to more men who are opting out of society, opting out of relationships, choosing to live separate lives, and just sitting back and watching it all burn.
By the way, guys, if you enjoyed the content, consider checking out and subscribing to our newsletter for my personal thoughts, insights, and a free copy of my ebook, The Blueprint for Escaping the Rat Race. Click the link in the description to get your free copy. Guys, what do you think regarding all of this? Men are, most men are going their own way. Let me know your thoughts and we'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.